Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sayyid Ali Hussain and I am a physical therapist by profession. Today I am going to talk about the male and female pelvic floor muscles and the treatment of a very common condition which is uh, you can say a dysfunction in the pelvic floor muscles that can lead to certain conditions uh, that are not limited to only erectile dysfunction or pelvic organ prolapse or leakage of urine and things like that. So if you are looking for something very important or technically uh, related to this region uh, in this short video I'm going to cover these things and I want you to know these things and if you want uh, my help you can contact me. Now first of all let's see that this is a female pelvis and we can see this is the pelvic floor. This is very important for us to remember these things. Now you can see within the pelvis we have uh, the uterus over here we have bladder and we have the ovaries and it is different in males because in males you don't have a uterus. So coming to the pelvic floor muscles these muscles are basically the called as the pelvic floor muscles. Here you can see this is the anal sphincter or anus and this is the urethral sphincter vagina and the urethral sphincter and similarly you have all these muscles. Now what happens actually if the muscles go weak uh, the, the patients or the person they complain of uh, leakage of urine especially in the female population and uh, some other conditions that can affect their sexual health as well. Similarly, if we look at the model of a male, in, in that model what happens is that we have almost the same pelvic floor muscles, just a bit different. This is called as uh, the bulbospongiosum and we also have some other muscles that are uh, the reason a male can have erection. So in a patient who is having erectile dysfunction these muscles they become weak and most of the time it is uh, the vasculogenic ED and these muscles are responsible for controlling the blood flow. And the same is for the males that uh, the pelvic floor is similar to the females except this part. Now the principles are very same and they are very easy to understand. You can perform Kegel exercises and you can perform some other maneuvers at home like you can also train your transversus abdominis and you can train your pelvic floor muscles uh, along with that that's going to help you but today I'm talking about how to uh, improve these muscular functions using the physical therapy. So in the physical therapy I'm concerned with electric stimulation you might have heard of EMS electronic muscle stimulator or neuromuscular electric stimulator you can find pelvic floor stimulators online but if you cannot you can use a simple TENS or you can use a simple EMS. Now this is very important for us to understand. In both males and females we have to apply these sticky electrodes onto the base of these muscles. Here you can see you should apply these muscles in this way so they don't touch to each other that's that's not sticking actually is it so let's try to stick it again yeah that's so they should not touch to each other and you can see that they are separated at the same time they are stimulating this is one of the configuration that really helps uh, some people advocate the use of these over here this is the anus and you can apply it here here or here these are very important configurations so you can think of making a cross over here and you can uh, use the parameters that I'm going to mention in the end of this video now it is important that you can you to remember that you can use two electrodes or four electrodes at the same time so one, two, three and four you can apply them in cross like this or like this or like this it doesn't matter but uh, it, it should be comfortable for you or for your patients. Now if we come to the female pelvis we can apply the same configuration onto the right side as well as onto the 
left side or on the front and back or in any configuration that you want but my recommended configuration is from right side to left side because it can stimulate all the muscles of course these muscles are not very deeply situated and the intensity needs to be uh, bearable now one thing that you should remember is that along with the physical therapy or along with the electric stimulation of these muscles you need to strengthen these muscles not just these muscles but also the muscles that can affect these muscles and those muscles include the gluteus muscles and for that you can try performing sit to stand it's very easy so you can perform the sit to stand if your gluteal muscles are strong enough they are going to support your pelvic floor muscles so this is important for us to remember so i'm going to summarize this that you should be knowing about the anatomy of the pelvic floor muscles of your patients of you or yourself secondly you should know how to apply the electrodes or what are the positions of the electrodes and thirdly you need to talk about the parameters so the parameters are frequency of the electric stimulation which is 50 hertz so 50 to 100 hertz is comfortable frequency for the patient talking about the pulse width it has to be anywhere between 100 to 300 depending upon your patient's tolerance and lastly if we can talk about on and on and off time it has to be minimum of one ratio one that means that if you are going to stimulate the muscles for let's say 10 seconds there should be a rest of 10 seconds after that and the treatment time can vary from 10 to 30 minutes depending upon your patient's tolerance or or his or her preference so if you are going to follow these things i'm pretty sure even on day one you are going to observe a noticeable difference and there are various ways to quantify the improvement and the most easiest one is to ask your patient to hold uh, the contraction of the pelvic floor muscles and note the time so he or she can do this herself or himself and then after this therapy the patient can perform the same and if there's a difference he can tell you so i'm pretty sure in my personal clinical experience it works and it it is it works like a magic if you have anything to ask if you have anything to uh, you know explore more about this you can comment you can contact me at my whatsapp or on my facebook or on my youtube i hope you like this video thank you very much